Hello, everyone. Welcome back to The Net Report with Code Advanced. I'm your host, Code Advanced. Let's get started with the first segment. All right, on to a segment I like to call News for the Gamers. Synapse brings dual-wielding VR action exclusively to PSVR 2 this year. This game looks really cool. Let's check it out. Synapse is a fast-paced run-and-gun VR game made by N-Dream Studio. Their goal is to make a truly next-gen VR title never seen before. It says here they combine brutal firepower, expressive one-to-one -one telekinesis, and an iconic art style. A huge part of the game, they use telekinesis, and the eye tracking helps the accuracy immensely. The studio said a big goal of the game is to give players a lot of options in their combat styles with the dual wielding, telekinesis, um, and it's very like intricate system. They even go on to say that reloading a gun, you can slam it against multiple surfaces to reload it, which is super cool. No exact release date yet. It just says later this year. It's pretty exciting, man. All right, let's check out the teaser trailer. I think it has some gameplay too. It looks super good. The graphics are very good. Got some telekinesis going on. Definitely fast paced combat. Whoa, dude. It reminds me of Mass Effect, man. They mentioned the eye tracking accuracy for all this, so it's gotta feel good, too. That's the worst when the aiming isn't right. Doesn't look like it's gonna make you throw up, though. Whoa. Dang! <laughs> That's crazy, man. Synapse. Really cool. Later this year, man. Alright, time for a segment I like to call One Day AI Will Take Over Everything. Every day it seems like people are coming out with new ways to use AI. It's mind-blowing sometimes. Let's check some out. This person is showcasing a way that you can manipulate photos almost like a 3D model. What in the... Dude, that is wild. Yeah, just close the cat's eye real quick. It, uh, what? The quality of this video is... Oh my god, dude, that is crazy. This is a crazy video where this person draws a few lines and generates whole environments. Check it out. You kind of have to draw it in a 360 kind of way, right? But very simple shapes. You know, anybody could do this. You know, you probably have a few prompts or examples you type in down there. That's what he's doing. And then Shazam. Are you kidding me? That is beautiful. You can see the lines. I... What? <laughs> I can't, man. This... Oh my... I love this. Let's check out this video. It seems cool. <laughs> Dude, what? I love... Like, okay, you can kind of see like a... Dude... It's beautiful. It's amazing. There's so many, like each one is its own piece of art. Gosh. Imagine a whole movie like this. This is definitely like tripping, man. Imagine watching this like that. This person said this is a collaborative animation using a hybrid SD plus 3D workflow. Let's check it out. Whoa. That looks so cool, man. The animation is getting better. The flickeriness is what their bat they battle usually. You can see kind of with every video over time, it gets better. What? Dang, 
that looks awesome. It's like amazing visual effects for for no money, I guess. Like these are like music videos. Sweet dude. Mind blowing. Truly. In AI generated animations, the flickering is kind of a dead giveaway and a lot of people try to mitigate that. Let's check out this video this person made of Mr. Beast. Whoa. You know, it looks like CG, but the, the flickering is definitely minimized. He definitely achieved what he wanted to do. And if you had this in kind of like a small portion of the screen, you might be able to convince some people. It's a little freaky. Right now it's funny, right? Because it's kind of obvious, but you can only imagine, man. So, dude, that's so weird. <laughs> Stop, dude. Why are you so happy, AI? Oh my god. I'm an AI! <laughs> Check out in this video, I'm an AI! And there's like 50 Mr. Beasts. Oh my god, no. People can just make anime now using real video. That's, that's cool, but... Uh, let's go make a basketball anime. Crazy, dude. It looks so fluid and great, especially for anime. Let's check out this collaboration this person did with this famous artist from Spain. Whoa. Holy. Okay, what she's doing in real life is crazy, too. Add the AI craziness on top. Man. Dude, like... This is the future. We are in the future, people. Like... My God. So cool. And so... Trippy. I love all the weird artifacting and stuff too. It really adds a lot. You could just, you could amplify any performance this way. And you know, it doesn't really hide the main performance, it just really amplifies it. It's really cool. Wow. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Code Advance, and until next time, peace.